For nearly a century, Tom's Cigar Store has been a fixture on Main Street in Hamilton. Once a booming business, it has thrived thanks to the mill workers and other industry in town. But now it is closing its doors. WLWT News South Karen Johnson joining us live now from Hamilton. And Karen, people have been coming in all day, I know, to say goodbye. Oh, they have, sure. You know, the people of Hamilton are really going to miss this place. This is more than just a store. For example, this right here, it's known as the gossip table. People come up, pull up a chair. If you want to know anything that's going on in Hamilton, this is the place to be. But after tomorrow, this table will be gone and the doors will be closed. One more goodbye for Joe Wright. Bye, Bye. This time to a little girl who won't grow up to experience Tom's Cigar Store like generations before her have. This place is an institution in this town. 98 years and never closed a day. Not one day? Not one day. Ever. It opened here in 1917 as the first Ward Cigar Store. Tom was added to the name in 1950. In 1965, Joe came along and business was booming. At one time, we were the go-to place for just about anything you needed. Whether you needed a pound of nails or Necco wafers, Tom sold them and still does. You don't have Tom's without Hamilton. You know, Hamilton is Tom's. Over the years, customers have turned into family. And the advice given to the little ones, like a boy named Kyle who comes in every Sunday for worms and fishing supplies, quite original. And I told him, I said, don't you ever get married, and you buy you a big fishing boat, and you buy you a cabin, and you fish all your life. <laughs> there won't be any more Sundays here. It does. <laughs> Thank you. For that, tears overshadow some smiles. I haven't really felt much emotion starting to now. <laughs> when Mike Morris started here 34 years ago, an employee told him, Tom's is going to be a big part of your life. And I've never forgotten that. And it really has become a big part of my life, maybe too big sometimes, I think. For employees, customers, and owners, it hurts to say goodbye. It's tough, you know. You put 50 years of something in, you know, it's tough. And Joe tells me between all the armed robberies, burglaries, thefts, and competition of big box stores, he just could not keep the store open any longer. It closes tomorrow. Anything left over will be auctioned off on Saturday. Reporting live tonight in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Uh, nice story there, Karen. Thank you.